the victors of the 74th Hunger Games, Katniss Everdeen and Peter Malak. Teaching kids how important just even one voice is. Um, that's, yeah, that's exciting to have books that are exciting and accessible to, to kids and they like them, well, to anybody, um, but also actually mean something. It's tough because, I mean, the position that Peter's in, I mean, he's, he's professed his love to her and, and he thought that it was, felt the same by her and, and, and then he finds out that it was just an act. So it's kind of, they're in this very weird place, but still Peter cares so much for it. It's a very, it's very complicated kind of relationship they're into right now. Um, and then to add on top of that, they have to go back into the game. So it's, it's, a, it's a lot going on for them. Jen and Josh and Liam, and um, they, you know, they have such a good energy, but to be able to bring in a whole new cast on top of that, like, you know, 10 people where we were like Philip Seymour Hoffman and Jeffrey Wright, and like everywhere I turned, like new member was like incredible. I feel like everyone really wanted to kind of up their game a bit. Candace Everdeen is a symbol. You don't have to destroy her, just her image. Show them that she is one of us now. Let them rally behind that. <laughs> They're gonna hate her so much, they might just kill her for you. <laughs>